Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Meriwether County Special Call Meeting 5 o'clock, September 26, 2023. I'll call this meeting to order. You will be solved with cell phones and any other electronic devices. If I could, do I have a motion to adopt the agenda? I may. Do I have a second? Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Motion carried. Um, item number three, new business. Item number four, public hearing. Number one, proposed fiscal year 2023-2024 budget. Do I have a motion to go into public hearing for the purpose of the proposed fiscal year 2023-2024? So do I have a second? Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Motion carries. We are in public hearing at 5 p.m. Mr. Chairman, y'all have in front of you a two-page document which was posted on the county website for state law on the proposed 2023-2024 budget. And the purpose of the, the meeting today is to introduce the budget to the public. <clears throat> now we can uh, go into as much or as little detail as you want to go. I thought I would just maybe hit some of the high spots on the revenue side as well as the expenditure side. You know, stop me if you have any questions or-, or A couple of those parts have taken the 920,000 additional this year. We can kind of hit with that name from person last year. It looks like it's 900,000. About 5% 5, 5 on the re revenue side. Mm -hmm. uh, increases in the uh, local option sales tax, uh, when you take the property tax for current year plus what we expect to get for the prior years, there's an increase of a couple hundred grand there as well. Uh, motor vehicles up a little bit. Uh, tipping fees is up another 150,000. And, uh, and that bottom line item transfers in from the fund balance as, as needed. So when you add, add those up, that, that covers just about the or covers the the difference in 2023 budget as well as the 2024. And the property tax is digested is about 44.5 percent of the total budget, which is you know that's still good. It's less than 50 percent. It means the other line items are going up. <clears throat> Any other questions on the revenue side? We need to look at. Any commissioners have any questions? I didn't mention the uh, Lamig amount that went up as well this year. Any questions? Okay, we'll go go on the expenditure side and. Uh, when our, our meeting started a couple of months ago with the constitutional officers and the department heads. Uh, they brought to the meetings what they had talked about in a meeting with earlier with there and about the the need to be able to get to a salary or an hourly salary or whatever, <clears throat> so they could hire more qualified personnel and be able to retain those personnel. So based on that, uh, we looked at some scale increases that will, I'll mention those when we get down there, as well as those scale increases, cost in goods and services, especially in public works have just skyrocketed based on inflation or the you know situation that we have with the economy these days. So those, are, those areas are really up. Uh, there is one bright spot on the, I didn't mention on the revenue side was the interest that we're getting on some of the funds that we are holding in the state department of revenue treasury account. Uh, you'll see a tremendous increase of a couple of hundred grand in the general government, which is the uh, second behind the sheriff's office in the size of the, the budget. And most of that is due to uh Increased in insurance costs on the property and liability side. Uh, utilities that we pay each month have gone up, uh, plus adding a couple of new locations. And the other side of the Lamig on the revenue is, is also on the expenditure side, and that's gone up as well. Uh, 
continuing on down. The different you'll see a difference in human resources of 217.9 and 394. The 217.9 was originally about 370, but when the board approved the two and a half percent merit raises the first of last year, we moved funds from that line in human resources to the individual uh, departments to cover those personnel costs in their departments. And that 394 that you see with this year's budget includes uh, up to two and a half percent merit raises when and if the board approves that before the first of the year. That's when we normally give, give those raises the first of the year. Uh, commissioner's line item is a little bit more because of the new five full time position that the board approved for this year's budget. And as we say every year, we do want to point out this is not the salary of the commissioner. So a lot of people do question. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I should have mentioned that. Right. But I always forget and you always remember. Uh, the next three or four departments are about the same, other than increases in personnel costs as well as group insurance costs. That that affects every department and constitutional officers that we have in the county. <coughs> it, uh, why did the coroner's budget go down six thousand? Uh, let me find it. I'd have to look look that up and, and see. And then also the health department went down five thousand. We've already approved there. Wasn't that the one fifty seven five that they requested? There might have been some uh, additional payments to them for the biometric screens. I'll look at that as well, too. Yeah, because I think it's been 157.5 for six years. Okay. Sorry about that. Hmm. I think I was on it. information technology. That's up due to... Uh, Got a part-time employee that we're proposing to go to full-time for the new budget year, as well as uh, the $110,000 in cybersecurity upgrades that we had to, <clears throat> that we've done over the past year. Uh, okay, the public safety, there is a scale increase built into that number when the board of approves that. Uh, Sheriff's office remain just about the same, but uh, they will be coming to us probably after the first of the year to, with a proposal to be able to raise their uh, deputy and jailer salaries to be able to retain the ones they have and get more qualified positions. Why would you wait to go after the first of the year in the budget? Excuse me. Uh, it won't increase the budget any. He, I think he wants to. They want to maybe eliminate a couple of positions to free up the money to raise those salaries. So it wouldn't affect the budget. Any. I think there's going to be a double retirement. Yeah. Public works. I mean, there's a scale increase built into that number, plus the cost of goods. We increase the uh, line item that. Includes all the gravel and, and stuff for the county roads substantially. And the IDA went down 212000 Due to the bonds being paid off. I signed that last check. To signed that last check. Good. <laughs> so that's it. That, that's, the, you know, the highest high points for revenue and expenditures in the budget. And, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the five percent increased over last year. Bill, I may have missed it over in the fund part. Did you say what the transfers in for the three hundred and eighty three thousand mm dollars? -hmm. That would be at the end of the year if we need to, we can uh pull from fund balance to okay. to cover that. I just missed it. Uh, I didn't know. I, I don't think we really think due to the 
problems we have attaining a full staff in the, in the large departments that will we'll have a problem in, in not using that money. But our fund balance is right around nine, nine and a half million, and we'll add to that. When this fiscal year we're finishing up, we should add another 500 to a million to that fund balance. Any commissioners have any questions? If you can, just find out about the yeah. owner and the health department. I, I'll, I'll take a look at that. Because I know we have to make sure the health department is exact. We already know it's the mm -hmm. past so. I might have picked up a wrong number somewhere. Question I got is that it is 911 employees is two thirds of the fire department and two thirds of public works. We have to, you know, the fire department like runs 10 to 15 different buildings and the employee pay is only a third more than 911. And it's in one building, isn't that correct? Well, it's in one building and there's 24 seven also, but what we have is the amount to run the fire district, probably not included in part of it. And then the EMS and all. So if you take the EMS and the fire and put it together for that one department, then it makes up a big difference. But Yeah, but the, the, the employee pay is not listed on the EMS, correct? Is some of that on 911? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it looks like. The fire department is Yeah, the fire department is all the road in the middle. Fire department, the employee labor is included. The EMS is included in that. Is that correct? No, that's not correct. Fire district is it's a separate fire yeah. sale. So where's the EMS? It, it's uh, under public safety. Public safety, but it's not under 911. Correct. 911 is the building across the street. Right. Correct. And Commissioner Collins to speak on that. Uh, next year, they will be combined. The, the operating and the salary, they'll be in the same line. Right. The and same all the salaries that come out under general government, too, right? Right. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll just look at this and we're breaking it down. Yes, yeah, sir. It's, it's a little confusing. We're going to make that change next year and put them. Put it all together, though. But the salary is in the. Where the big thing says D911, it says breaking employees $828,000. Is that what the pay is to the 911 employees? Correct. That is correct. That's what I thought. And then the public safety department 30 is your um, EMS right. salary. We'll, we'll be combining those two groups. And it's like a lot of pay from the 911. I believe 911 is fully staffed as well. But like one point, three million goes to the public work. Anyone else? Hearing none, do I have a motion to go out of public hearing? So move. Do I have a second? Second. Motion and second. All in favor? Motion carried. We are out of public hearing at 9 13. If there's no action to be taken, we'll do on the next meeting at 6. Go ahead. We'll do all the rest of it. So, do we, Michael, then they come so I don't think we can have executive session without the adjournment. But we'll have to wait till the next meeting. Do I have a motion to adjourn? Do I have a second? Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Motion carried. We're adjourned.